Oh, that is very close, but going to be a very challenging putt to Amelia's point. Great start. Excellent. Four for no. This is all over it. And to Amelia's point, this is the easiest green and chain. I'll give us two whole locations that are kind. One <laughs> and eight so far. And the breeze has died down a little bit, so she can be looking to hit this right on the number. Another incredible wedge shot. There we go. That's how you do it. That'll be a birdie for Jennifer Cupcho. Her lie is fine here. Sometimes the stance can get affected by the pine straw. Have to really make sure you keep your balance. This 178 to the hole. On a good line, too. Needs to stay right. That is excellent. Wow, what a shot from Yalimi No here at the 17. Karen Stupples watching in Ji Chun. Yeah, this is a second shot into the second. Already a birdie on her card at the first. Former winner of the US Women's Open at Lancaster. Oh my hey. goodness, that was almost <laughs> the very best possible start she could have. She will have noticed that the balls have been receptive. What we've seen so far with wedge in hand, you can be able to control your distances still relatively early in the day. We saw the greens firm out yesterday. Say Young Kim for birdie. This should be very straightforward. She was pin high just to the right, so pretty much straight up that hill. Nicely done. A thing of beauty. Marrying the line and speed perfectly, and Say Young off to a good start. You hear her talking with her caddy. I'm gonna play it a little bit longer because it's back into the wind uphill. Just a beautiful iron player. And she just has a classic golf swing that is gonna serve her well for many years. Just a little tester. We saw that line that Say Young was on. It does wanna <laughs> move pretty good. And in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, don't go too far. And that'll give her another chance for a birdie after, go, after a birdie at the first. I'd say she is focused and ready for today. It's a good place to be in. As we take you to the ninth. And Nasa Hataoka. Another little delicate putt down the hill. I can't believe that got to the hole. <laughs> it looked like it stopped about 10 feet short. Oh, my goodness. Just getting familiar with the back of these greens here. Well, and this is another one of those hole locations that nicely done this time around that challenge the fall off areas and really test the players on how aggressive do you want to play into these holes. We're going to go to five. Say Young Kim. Speedy. Again? Whoa. Again? Paige, she actually got quite lucky because her tee shot actually went much farther left than where she ended up. It took a little bit of a ricochet down to there. So, all in all, well done, Say Young Kim. Birdie putt for Cheyenne Knight at the eighth. Look at a pickup speed. What a putt. got to be perfect in order to get close to this hole. Wow! <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that was pretty perfect. And almost every single putt from this side of the hole has come up short. Just enough! Not Mo. <laughs> to 12. And this is Nasa Hataoka with her second shot, just from the the peak of the 
the fairway there. Another treacherous hole location, but NASA. Ah! This a lengthy birdie putt for Jin Young Ko. That's why she's number one in the world, George. I, 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 you could put 15 other players there, and nobody's going to do that well. Surprised that didn't go in. Such a good lag putt there from Jin Young Ko. Frida Schenholt. Okay. We may have seen as many birdies from off the green today than we've seen from on. <laughs> They're hard to come by, to Karen's point. But for now, just play your normal game plan. There's a good chance those leaders are going to come back to you a little bit. This good. is a good looking wedge here. And keep an eye on Lydia. You're going to get a chance to watch her. I was looking at Lydia Ko and Jin Young Ko as two potential chasers coming in this week. Good drive right down the middle. From Australia, Minji Lee. Now trying to win the same championship Kari did. That's a down the left center with a draw. Should be just fine. You know, and not only is the trophy sitting right there on the first tee, that 18th green is right there. The Coes, Jin Young and Lydia, with the birdie at the first. Boy, she hit that purely, leaking a little bit to the right. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Some big hitters in these final few pairs, but none have been better than that. Good answer. I also think it speaks to the attitude in her approach of today, in that she's not trying to protect her lead necessarily, mm. that she's not afraid to continue to push what has worked well for her this week. And I think for her, moving forward, it's going to be about staying in her own game. She and Minji play two different styles of golf. Lydia's going to have to use all her skill set here. You know, right there, it kind of turns and goes down the hill. This oh, looks this like is... lovely speed, Karen. Fabulous. Oh! Oh, my, my goodness. <laughs> Lydia Ko, take a bow. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, that final stretch. Get a little look here on the tee at 16. Celine Boutier. Now we'll be able to get an advanced look of what the leaders will be facing coming down the stretch. This is a tough hole location to get it close. But Celine's proving me wrong. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I've seen a couple of those already just started the shot. I thought maybe, Morgan. We're going to see a hole in one today, Terry? Uh, by the looks of things. Just a short time ago at the third, Lydia Ko trying to chase. Par three, 110 yards today. Nearly the ace. Morgan, certainly a name that those at the top will keep watching. It's the U.S. Women's Open presented by ProMedica being played here. Minji Lee started the day with the lead, birdied the first, short time ago at the second. Rolls in a long birdie putt. What a start for her final round, trying to win this championship for the first time. Didn't want to say anything to ruin her mojo. And isn't that typical of a major champ and most golfers who are su superstitious? Really gotten off to good starts, too, this week. Five under on this stretch, one through three, this part of the golf course. You can only imagine more so today with the championship on the line. Trying to draw that in. Yep. Mm, on the surface, but uh, distance away there. 
Bronte Law at six under. This her second and four from 143 a moment ago. Very good. I know she just hasn't quite been able to get the putts to fall, Kay, to start this round, but I feel like she's off to a decent start. It can be hard when you're playing up against Minji birding the first two holes. Much trickier putt, but after she made the putt at the second, I don't know if any putt could be considered tricky for her. She certainly didn't come out and start playing aggressively, Kay. She is sticking to her relatively aggressive game plan for the week. Already a winner this season early in the year, the Gamebridge LPGA. That's that's been the story. If she doesn't make it, she's been right there. They look good. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Joins that group there. Share a fourth. So Mili here at the ninth. This hole has been really tricky today. Look how quick this putt is from the middle of the green. The like caddy would just get out of the way. Yes, he's very excited because he knocked it in. And a bit of a bounce back today for Lee. She struggled, as you can see, in the early part of the round. You did. <laughs> wow. That's great. Yeah, beautifully judged on a shot that could really test your nerves at that point. Didn't quite get what she wanted out of it. See if she can avoid a three putt here off the start. Really turned it on yesterday midway through the round. 9, 10, 11, 12. Came back and played well after those two bogeys. Said, I really learned that I can embrace the moment. That's one of the first big miscues we've seen from Minji. Short siding herself there. Hedge and Choi share a fourth. This for birdie. Oh, yeah, with speed. Going after it. So into a share of third with Lydia Ko now. We'd had a good sound. Yeah, had a good result as well. Good shot there. She had a very nice confident stroke on the last. Let's see what she can do here. And that, that swing down a little to the left. The 12th and check in with a major champion, Say Young Kim. This is for Birdie to get it to two under. And she had four birdies in the first five holes today. Yeah, good up and down from the bunker there. So she'll get at least one shot closer to Minji, because Minji has a bogey putt to come. This is for par. Jin Young Ko's had really scrambled the last couple of holes. Long hair played. Oh, good putt though to save. Maybe she was at seven under both of the last, but eight shots off the lead. Okay. And now par to stay at six under. Mori Jutanagarn at the tenth. Par five. That was short time ago. So that was her second on into. And a great look at Eagle. You can see what's possible here with these last few groups. A chance to make a big move up the leaderboard. Made that look easy. She uses a more worn in grip for putting than she does for the full swing. She likes it to be a little more fresh on the full swing. So that's hence the change in glove. It's pretty wild that it gets that specific. The feel of it. Nearly 60 feet for Minji Lee. Yeah, this is a challenging one. Almost the entire length of the green. And pretty good on pace right there. Very solid. So through six holes, she has picked up one in terms of the lead. up at seven for Parco. And 
remember that's where she played her second. It's kind of what we've seen from her this week, Terry. Just not quite able to get the putter. The overall flow of this putt will be uphill left to right. Even, even when you're putting the distance control. Bronte Law in the fairway for her second at eight. <laughs> Haragai. A healthy 25 feet for par. Coach Richie Smith, they've been spending a lot of time on these mid-range putts. She made some beauties yesterday in the middle of the round. That was a good stroke. But I made a good stroke, just didn't go in. Really digging her out of that and getting her back in the game and back on track. He needs to do that right here as well. Here's Nellie Corder for a birdie at 12. Trying to ease it down the hill and does uh, just that. So Nellie moves to two under par. To be an elite level player, you have to be good from inside 100 yards. You have to be great. That's borderline great. Easily for Minji like they did yesterday. Yeah, same for Mina. Just a little bit of little championship pressure. She made that really long putt on the second hole, but on their own will pay about the same as a win next week. Mm. So that gives you an idea of what they're playing for here on the back nine. Massive purse at the US Women's Open compared to the other. Saw the approach from Ajahn Choi, and this is for birdie at 12. And just not going to take that turn that she had read into the putt. It's a good final round, though. She's two under par right now. Haragai for birdie. She's probably wishing she hit the full nine instead of the grip nine. Right to left, breaking, and then moves back off to the right a little. She would have liked for that to release out another two feet. Here's Minji for birdie. Yeah, with this is a 30 footer, she's going to putt it like a 20 footer. Oh, she gave this more pace than anybody we've seen. She did. Don't want to go too far by, Kay. You do not want to go too far by. Uh oh. Oh, that's right on the edge. Oh, good putt there. Oh, huge. Back up the hill. She could be aggressive that time. And there's no stopping Minji right now. Yeah, good two putt. So no change at the top of this leaderboard as they make their way to the back nine on Sunday. Just has to guard against pulling it, which she... Pulled it a little bit. Very aggressive line. Oh, it's I think fall she off was. The green. Yeah, she was certainly aiming probably 20 feet right of that flag stick. And carried it all the way there. Oh, uh -oh. look at the roll where it settles too. Shi Yu Lin at the 11th to get up to three under par. Twenty-six-year-old from China, nine years now on the LPGA Tour, still in search of that first win. Yeah, just a layup. Just needs to hit softly, though. This is going to hard, hard left, may catch the rough. If you're going to lay up, you don't want to make that kind of mistake. Nip the trees, it's going to come up short. Morgan, there's been more indecision today 
standing over a shot, backing off a shot than we've seen in the first three days. Well, there's been a little bit more wind out there. Plus, it's Championship Sunday. Maybe not having quite the perfect numbers. To get it to eight under par. Yeah, this is going to have some pace to it once it gets on the green. It looks like it's at least a sand wedge. Oh, yeah. She, she did bump it. Obviously, it's so hard to control how firmly, but if she can keep this on the green, I'd say job well done. Well, she didn't. Now she does. Yeah, it came out better. It came out a lot hotter than she anticipated. Take out a little bit of the reed. She's hit a few beauties with this club already today. Let's see if she can pull another one out here. Checked up on her a little bit there, Morgan. Yep, good shot. Not bad. So downhill kind of starting, then it levels out. But I wouldn't be surprised if she came up a little short. Uh, be beautiful pace. Exactly what she needed to do. Breaking left to right up the hill here at the 12th, and Lydia trying to creep closer to that lead. A little bit of a bare lie. Way back in her stance, she's trying to pitch it over that hill and it'll fall to the right from that point. Pretty good speed. Just kept running out. That's pretty good play. Where the fringe is, and then it'll be downhill from that point. Oh, hit it way too firmly. Yeah, actually, that wasn't that bad. I thought she hammered that one, but it was so steep, she needed to hit it that firmly. Up at 18, she's over par for the four days. Nice finish on the last, though. 73 today, two over today, two over for this U.S. Women's Open. Yeah, I mean, if she makes and Minji misses, then it's a ball game. But if she misses this and Minji makes, it becomes a tall order. I left the whole way. I just didn't really have the pace. And just to jump ahead, one shot ahead of those in third right now, too. And just remember the purse money and the significant difference there. Because it is. There's a really good friend right there. Bronte Law in the T of 13. 209 today. Play is down about 16 yards, so doesn't quite play to full yardage. Good shot. Lydia, short time ago off the tee at 13. That same fan is calling for every tee shot to go in. Yeah, this they might need to ask for this one to sit. I think it's going <laughs> to hold on. There we go. Optimistic. They were very close. So I know that's been a hard thing to deal with just in the last couple of weeks for Lexi and her family. Large gallery around 18. The grandstands. Birdie try for Lydia Ko. Got it. That is only the second birdie today at the 13th hole. And a share of second place. The hole location just feels like go right at it. No wind blowing right now. Oh, it's a clinic. Wonderful. And a chance for another birdie for uh, Minji Lee. Two and put that behind you but then you come here this week and you're asked about it all over again so you're reminded of it whether you want to be or not and that was something that I know she talked to Martin Hall about coming into this week oh what a way to end first birdie of the day and oh my goodness me it's almost as though somebody just put a cap on the hole there that just went straight right at the end. Just a four. 
movement in this one, though. And that was so well done. We've seen a number of players just misjudge the break on that putt today, but not the player at the top of the leaderboard. And Minji Lee increases her advantage here at Pine Needle. Six shots ahead as she walks to the 13th. Don't want to lose this a little right. Looks like she's leaning. Oh, gets a nice bounce. Use every bit of that ground. It's not very often you, you land, you try to land it. But at the end of the day, you have to do everything within your power and, and still play within yourself. If you try to force it in any direction. Yes, as, on a good line. As we've seen, this course will get Pops the better of you. Yeah, it's a really good shot there, Morgan. Well done. This has to keep going through her process and hope some of those putts fall. Leona McGuire has missed her birdie try. Hedgen Choi can join them at eight and does. And has fans following her. It very well could be. This is not the easiest chip shot. Depends on where she lands on the side of a mound that shorted the hole. Ooh, she went the really low route. Yeah, she didn't carry that nearly as far as I expected her to. It almost got a kick off of the fringe and the collar that shot it forward. Big putt here to put some pressure on Minji. And that's just a little bit of the difference that we've seen in the last few holes. Just slightly tentative. A little tentative on the putt on 11 for par. A little tentative here. Maybe didn't, wasn't comfortable with the read. Actually breaks a little bit towards the back of the green that players have not quite been able to see at this 10 to 12 foot range. Time and again. Nellie Corda to finish up at three under. Yeah, all in all to start the week. I don't know that Nelly had a lot of expectations for herself. I think she's just happy to be back out playing on tour after taking four months off, and it's great to see her back. You would think she would have surpassed her expectations. I mean, even the way she talks coming in, saying, look, I didn't pick this. A, a major championship as my first time back, but I'm 100% now. I wanted to be 100%. Lindblad for birdie at 15, the par five. And, and there she is, you can see, in ninth. Oh, that is a shot. Gave us all a bit of a scare in here. What a shot. First birdie of the day here on 14. Yeah. I mean, that's almost what you have to do to make birdie on this hole. And just beautiful technique. Great thump out of the sand. What about real speed? Wonderful tempo. I love real speed. You can really tell the tempo. I hear the sound too. That thump. Is there a false that'll come back towards her, Kay? Not when she gets on the green. Not unless she totally dumped it. Well done, music below the hole. Just a replay over and over again. Why would you ever doubt her? Golf, golf is easy when you play like that. Got close in two. This is another one of those somewhat infinity greens from where she's sitting in that bunker. This makes distance control so difficult, but she made that look so easy. Now the birdie putt for Jin Young Ko, similar putt to the one she just watched from the player that she's playing alongside, Alan Norquist. Did she learn anything? Yes, she did. Well, you give the world number one the line and the pace, and she shows you exactly what to do. Oh, yes, that's a bonus. Up at 18, Hedgen Choi over the green in two. It's her third along the ground. Just grabbed. 
Oh, is that going to stay? That could come back towards her. Run up and mark it. Beautiful swing. High shot down the right side of the green. Right center, I should say. I mean, she knows what she's doing. She's swinging that club like it's an eight iron. That's amazing. Just putting on an absolute clinic out here. She can't see it because of the shadows of the pines, but she's going to be very happy with the result when she gets up there. Wow. 16. Looks to be what she's doing just right. The flag may need to bite. Yes! It did. Woo! That is bold. What a great play. It's not easy, though, Terry. She pushed no. that. So not that Harry guy knows it, but she will drop back to seven under with Co. And potential for Mina here to have a two shot cushion heading yeah. into the last few holes. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have a short memory in this game. Little bit tentative there. She can afford it here, but that's the first somewhat tentative stroke we've seen her make today. There is that two shot cushion. And she kept her head really steady on that one. Just, and that's a Lydia Co. Puck. Drop it right over the edge. Very tight around these uh, greens. She's got the wedge out. And there's a, a ridge there at the back of the green that she kind of pitched it into. So she'll have that left for a par. It's a nine iron. Just playing for that front yardage. Got to get a little easier every shot you make. You cross every, another one off. Every shot you keep hitting like that. Yeah, exactly. On the middle of the green. Center of. So we come down the stretch. No, not the line. Second place by yourself over a million dollars. It's a million eighty thousand dollars. Now, Bronte Law, Birdie would go a very long way here for the English woman. She made a beautiful birdie here yesterday, Tom. <laughs> that is a good line. Just the right amount of pace. Wonderful shot there from Bronte, and she's given herself a very good look at Birdie. Didn't hit a lot of shots, but now she's such a well-rounded player that has the full package. Ouch. Well, a mistake, a rare mistake, but one she can afford. She's human. Oh, a rare mistake from short range for Lydia. So that is going to be a bogey. And it's a bogey at 15 and a bogey at 17. Yeah, on a really good line here, Tom, right at the center of the green. Yeah, asking for it to get back there. It's going to be just fine. She's got, uh, well, she's at nine under. I mean, to be able to bomb it around the corner and now have wedge in your hand in to this tough hole. She had left of the flag. Yeah, she pulled it a little. Sat down very quickly. Didn't want to go long. The danger is going long here. Back in uh, three weeks ago. And now close to winning another major championship, having broken through last summer. Have that left for a four to remain at 14 under. She has a five shot lead. 
greens have been very quick all week. Golf course presented in tremendous condition, and that is very good pace for Armina. So she'll remain at nine under, and she's got a little cushion. Still so lucrative here. Oh, don't want to step in her fellow competitor's line. Just gonna tap. Good four on a top hole. And oh, a few Aussies in the in the crowd there. <laughs> Trying to control the spin on her wedge there, just where we've seen so many people end up. And to finally get the job done there. And then just to command this championship. It takes a lot of patience and belief to wait for it. And she waited for this one. For the biggest one of them all. Mine should be like Kind of where my hip and settles in. So, Bronte Law has missed her putt. This is for par for Co. So, it hasn't been the best finish. Lydia fighting for second place, but now. Right where it's headed, center of the green. It's one of the better shots we've seen in here at 18. And on the green, 72nd hole here at the U.S. Women's Open. That view must be spectacular because that... And on the green, 72nd hole here at the U.S. Women's Open. That view must be spectacular because that fairway runs all the way down to the green. So from your view, for more than one reason, you must feel like you are on top of the world right now, Minji Lee. She, she is. She is on top of the world. What a performance. So nice to just have the luxury of lagging it up there. Right. Terrific week for Mina Haragai. 72 today, nine under overall, and all by herself in second place. She just ran away from everybody. Minji Lee wins the U.S. Women's Open at Pine Needles.